Hey guys, it's Chicago Trader here. I uh, hope you guys are having a nice weekend. Happy Sunday. Um, I've been over the last couple of Saturdays, what I usually do is kind of go through my trades for the week and uh, kind of was overviewing some of my biggest losers, some things I avoided and why. And uh, I was lucky that I did that because uh, obviously this week, uh, past week, there was no shortage of uh, low float runners. And a few of those I did avoid on the short side. And, uh, you know, I was kind of a uh, blessing in disguise that I did review some of my trades from the, you know, the past weekend. So it's no surprise that a lot of the stocks that I had my biggest losers on were biotechs, um, as a lot of times the top of the gap scan is a lot of those low float biotechs with the news that come out. And uh, why I'm by no stretch of imagination an expert on, you know, comprehending the news or the phases or the trials or anything like that. Um, I wanted to put together some of the commonalities between the things I, you know, lost on the short side with. So, um, obviously, ZSAN, ZSAN, and uh, God, what was the other one that moved this week? I can't even remember. Um, ACHV. So there was a couple things that, again, when I was reviewing my trades, I kind of uh, avoided them from from the open, and I kind of wanted to share why uh, that have kind of hurt me. PTI, OCX, ZSAN. Again, it was this week. AXSM, ACHV, MRIN. And again, there's more out there, but these were just things that I remember um, off the top of my head. A few of my traded, a couple of my didn't. So a lot of these, um, obviously I'm a you know fundamental guy and it's easy for fundamentals to make you a convict, right? Um, you're so convinced that uh, you know the dilution or it's such a trash stock, but uh, all we can do is manage risk. And so when I'm going through looking at a lot of these, there's some commonalities, right? A lot of the floats are the same. Um, a lot of them are smaller companies, restricted to the shelves, easy to borrow. Um, some have high institutional ownership, some have low, some have a decent amount of dilution, some don't. So you can see the same, I mean, it gaps up $2, you know, it goes to three, um, goes all the way up to six. So pre-market, I mean, this thing's up, you know, a couple hundred percent. And, uh, Right here, before it put in this big candle, you know, again, they had a huge ATM. Uh, outstanding. I think the company's market cap around here was like 60 million. They had a 30 or 35 million dollar ATM, you know, needed it for cash, I thought. So I'm thinking they're going to hammer this thing out the gate. Um, it pushes, obviously. And right here, it is rotating its float within the first 15 minutes of the open. Red flag. So again, this is where I sit here and say, well, it's probably dilution. They're going to smack this. Um, if you guys don't remember, this thing actually ran to 11, I believe, and closed strong. So, again, that was PTI. Another one I wanted to uh, jump into. Uh, I can hardly <clears throat> look at the stock. OCX was a A-plus setup for me and just, again, just got demolished on it. 9 million float was restricted. Pretty easy to borrow. 